congratulations on your uh, your nomination. How did you feel when you heard that you uh, you got the Rising Star? Yeah, I was certainly surprised. Um, yeah, really surprised I got it, but yeah, good to get recognised. So. Tell, just tell it, Lana, the game against Hawthorne, um, and I know you've played a reasonable amount of AFL, just after half time, tell me if I'm off the mark, just things seemed to really fall into place. You seemed, you, handling was great, had a great second half, and then you really hit the ground running again last week. Do you, do you feel there was a bit of a turning point there, or do you feel it's been turning for some time for you? Yeah, well, it was a really good game to be a part of, great experience against you know reigning premiers. A team such as Hawthorne, who I actually grew up supporting, so um, yeah, it was a great experience for myself, but um, also as a team playing such a big game, um, had plenty of help from you know fellow forwards and uh, you know lead leaders in the team who really you know had faith in me, and I did. We yeah, found I worked into the game a bit better as it went on, so it was good. Do you 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 run a lot? Were you a good runner at school, at middle distance or distance? Yeah, I was more sort of an endurance sort of. Yeah, runner. So uh, probably not early days, but yeah, sort of developed in sort of late teens, and yeah, something to try to work on a lot. Was, was that fifteen or eight hundred meters or three thousand? Yeah, uh, more sort of yeah, th yeah, middle distance. So you know, one and a half to three k sort of. And is that one of your strengths? Do you feel as a centre half forward, you tend to you look like you cover a lot of k's? Yeah, definitely. I think it's yeah, big aspect of my game and something you. I try to exploit teams with, so, um, yeah, yeah, hope so. Who do you sort of model your game on? Uh, no one in particular, but, yeah, I take a lot of things from, you know, other, you know, good forwards in the competition. So, yeah, got uh, Pav here, you know, who shows, you know, teaches me a lot about, you know, being a forward and um, just the little tricks of the trade, so. Matt, it looked like when you arrived here, when you were invited to train, you were already at a really high level with your running then. Much better have you got since then? Uh, would it maybe improved a little bit? Um, not not a heap. I put on a, a few kilos, so um, yeah, that makes it a bit harder. But yeah, probably stayed at sort of reasonable, reasonable same level, I reckon. So you put on about eight kilos. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, roughly eight. So yeah. you feel like you need to put more on, or are you about right level with your running and? Oh, maybe in the long term, but for now I'm pretty happy where I am. Uh, so yeah. Do you feel a bit more comfortable in the team when you play now? Do you feel like you're starting to be a part of the AFL scene? Oh, every game it makes it a lot easier, um, and you get used to it. Playing in front of you know big crowds and um, you know, against you know good opposition, so definitely find it easier um, the more games I do play. About what's it like with Michael Hayden and? Uh, <coughs> Crozier, Walters and Ballantyne around three smalls who are really quick yeah. and move the ball really fast. Yeah, it makes it really good for myself and yeah, the, the other tall forwards. So, um, yeah, they're so dangerous and yeah, quick. So if we can bring it to ground, they can cause a bit of havoc there. So, How much of a difference has Michael particularly made in the last two weeks? Yeah, he's come in and it seems like he's missed nearly uh, hardly any football. So uh, great effort by him and um, you know, he trains so hard. In the uh, in the weeks he did miss, so he comes he comes back in and uh, yeah you've seen what he's done in the last two weeks. So you touched on it before, but how good has Matthew Pavich been in your development and giving you advice? Yeah, great. He's a great leader, um, really experienced, and he's uh, yeah just helped me a lot you know since the club and the the other developing forwards as well. So yeah, really thankful for that. When did you find out he was? a late withdrawal in the game and did you feel like you really needed to step up to try and fill that void? Oh, so yeah, the warm up. So um, no, I had a lot of support from the other teammates and we got, you know, a lot of other a few other leaders down there in the forward line, so um, they were good with it. What were those sort of areas you needed to work on when you came into the club a couple of years ago? Yeah, so one in particular was the, was my weight, so um, really focused on that. Uh, a lot of my ball use wasn't wasn't great early on, so try to improve that. And just working as a more of a team and with other forwards working together. So, yeah. how, do you, how do you find Ross? Tough taskmaster. Has he been with you when you come into the team? Uh, he's been re really good for me. So um, thankful for the opportunities he's given me, and uh, he's been really good for my footy and development. Has the mood of the group changed now that finals is? Right here, you're on the cusp of it. Have you felt a discernible 
left, lift in intensity around training and, and preparation for games now that September's upon you? No, not really. We're just this week is a pretty big game, so we're really knuckling down, doing everything possible to recover from this six-day turnaround. So, yeah, really, really focus on Port Adelaide. Mate, you've come into the team at the right time of yeah. year. You've sort of grasped your opportunities here. Are you excited about what may come for you in the next few weeks, getting to play in finals? Oh no, I haven't. I haven't felt I earned that yet. So I got. Hopefully, I can you know play well this weekend. Um, see how it unfolds from there. But as I said, a really, really important game this weekend, and really focus on that. What do you make of Port Adelaide? Obviously, you know the scenario is in terms of finishing top four. Yes, yeah, so I've personally never played against them, but uh, they're obviously a very, very good team. Started off the year really well. They can really good running team. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be a tough task. Matt, were you currently the Did you finish growing or did you keep growing when you were here? Was that part yeah, of maybe, the maybe one or two centimetres, I think. So, yeah. How tall are you now? 198, I think. Yeah. Do you expect to have your captain on Saturday? I hope, hope so. Um, obviously, I have a fitness test during the week, but um, yeah, I'm not too much involved with that, So, but I hope, hope he is. Do you feel as though, I mean, Feel as though you played your best game last week without him there, yeah. but does it help you when he is out there? Definitely, yeah. He's uh, really good as a presence and uh, directing, directing, helping with the the younger guys down there. Um, also, he's a dangerous player, so he normally takes the number one defender. So, yeah. You filled a role in defence uh, a little bit earlier in the year. Did that help you get an understanding of how hard? forwards need to work and some of those types of things. Yeah, and also gave me a bit of perspective about being a defender as well. So uh, it was a um, good challenge and yeah, something I take a lot out of that game. So, uh, yeah. Frio been searching for a, a good tall forward for a while. Was he set in the Uh, yeah, well, I look to you know long term secure a spot in the team. With that, we've still got a lot of um, a few other forwards who are more than capable of playing at yeah top level. So um, I just need to keep working. Hopefully, yeah, long term secure a spot. How much is the the rising star nomination a bit of recognition? I guess for the hard work you put in, obviously being overlooked uh, in the draft initially, and then having to come through the rookie list. Yeah, oh, great recognition, but um, there are bigger things this week. So um, do, I do. I am thankful for the nomination and uh, the recognition, but yeah, still solely focused on this week.